What is going on everybody, Stas here. Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about trading stocks during earnings season and why you should be very cautious and mindful when you are trading stocks during earnings season. So before we get into the topic of today's very brief video, what is earnings season for those of you guys that don't even know? I'm sure 95% of you guys know, but let's just do a very quick one minute overview of what earnings earnings season is. So public companies out there, they report their financial metrics four times per year. Most companies out there do that. And during this time period, we get to see what their revenue is, what their profits are for that quarter, what their earnings per share is, their debt, the year over year growth metrics, right? Their quarter over quarter growth metrics, which are a bunch of important metrics for existing investors and in companies to know so they can analyze where the company is potentially going, right? We also get to see guidance of the companies from the management is the guidance positive over the next quarter over the next year is the guidance maybe negative right the company the management they're expecting negative sentiment in that company these are some things we get to understand and analyze from earnings in companies right and that's the time period that we are currently in right now right a lot of the large cap companies mid cap companies small cap companies are reporting their numbers right now and we actually have a lot of the big names coming up right we have tesla on the 24th right one of the most popular talked about stocks in the stock market amd advanced micro devices we have apple amazon google all of these big name companies their earnings are coming up and typically guys when a company misses on their earnings based on what analysts were expecting let's say a company is expecting you know an analyst is expecting for let's say for example hypothetical these are not real numbers let's say facebook is expected to have two dollars of eps this quarter right and an analyst that's what they expect and let's say they come in and they report one dollar and fifty cents right they missed by a long shot in terms of what analysts expected. This will most likely send the stock tumbling maybe 5, 10, 15%. But let's say on the flip side, if a company you know, is expected to report $2 of earnings per share. Let's use the same number. But let's say they come in and they blow that expectation. Let's say they come in and they report $2.75 per share. What is likely to happen is that stock, the investors, people in the market, they're going to be like, oh my God, oh my God, we have to start buying, buying, buying. The stock's going to push up. And let's say the stock will go up at that point, 5, 10, 15 percent right this is typically what happens on earnings and there's other times when the earnings per share is very in line with what analysts expected and the stock doesn't budge right this happens as well but why i am personally approaching with caution and why you should likely approach with caution again do your own analysis do your own research don't just do this because I'm doing it is because just that guys, right? Stocks, they go up 10%, down 10%. And let's say you're swing trading a stock right before earnings. And this is a warning to you. You should be cautious of what stocks you're looking to swing trade if they are reporting earnings. Let's say you're swing trading into the earnings report. This is pretty risky in my personal opinion, right? This is what I personally don't do, right? I like to get in after earnings, right? I like to see the, the numbers. I like to see the guidance. I like to see what the company is looking like and how the price is reacting after earnings before building a position. But let's say you know, you're blindly swing trading a stock during earnings season without knowing when earnings are. Like if I was in Tesla right now without knowing the earnings are in two days from now, you know, this is very cautious because like we said, right, the, st the stock can 
pop up 10% where you'd probably luck out and make a nice little profit. But that is a little chance here, right? There's also another little chance that the stock can go down 10% and you can absolutely get burned, right? Which is why, guys, I can't preach it enough. If you're swing trading, day trading, not so much, right? Day trading, you're in and out on the same day. If you're if you're trading, you know, a couple of days before the earnings report, that's fine. Maybe you know that the, the earnings report is today, for example, and you're swing trading the insane volatility on the earnings report or day trading the insane volatility. That's fine. But for swing trading, I can't stress it enough understand and know when earnings are understand and know what companies are, are are expected to do for earnings is the earnings report supposed to be good bad maybe decent right you should know these things before taking a swing position in earnings season this is something that i can't stress enough and typically outside of earnings season you don't really have to worry about that right but in earnings season the time period that we are in right now understand what companies are reporting before you take a position in those companies because you can get burned if you get lucky right you can pop up 10 percent, and that'll be good after earnings report but that is a risk that i personally don't take i wait until after earnings to take positions in swings like AMD, for example, which is one that I traded last week, I ended up selling out for a very small profit, and I'm most likely going to be waiting till after earnings um, to, to hop back in. And let's say I miss the huge move, that's okay, right? Because I am not compromising my rules in trading to just try and get an earnings play on a potential huge move because I know the risks involved, right? Apple is another one, right? Apple is one that I was in for from two weeks ago or something, like 10 days ago, I got in at 197, ended up selling out at 204, took a profit. I'm back in Apple today, actually, which you guys, you guys will see that in the later video. I'm swing trading it again, but I'm planning on selling right before the earnings report, maybe on the 28th, the 29th, because their earnings are on the 30th, right? So I'm planning on probably selling that one sometimes during this week, sometime during this week, and maybe re-entering after their earnings because Apple's a pretty good example, right? Their earnings aren't supposed to be that great, right? iPhone sales are supposed to be down. So this could end up fluctuating the stock to the downside, which again, I don't want to be a part of. So that's pretty much it for this quick little video, guys. The gist of it is do your research before swing trading stocks during earnings season because you can get burned if a stock does very poorly. But let's say you get lucky, you know, which is a smaller chance, you know, that stock can go up, guys. But that's something that you have to do your research on. So if you enjoyed this quick little video, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. It really does support me and supports the channel in general. If you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. I post pretty much daily here about investing, trading, stock market, stock news, earnings, all of these different things, personal finance. That is what this channel is about. And drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Are you trading during earnings? Are you a guy that or a girl that trades or buys a stock before earnings and plays it through earnings? Let me know down below in the comment section. I would love to know. I'll catch you all later today. Have a good one. Peace out.